this live. Actually, it's still 11.45 p.m. October 12, 2023. The reason why I'm going live for tonight is to perform a ritual on this wave explosion. Actually, the this wave explosion ritual, I have done this um, years ago. Um, and hello, uh, Sir Mary Hawk. Good morning or good afternoon to you. So the reason why I am doing this is because of the need that is happening around the world, such as the one that is happening in Israel. But I love the idea of Lady Lori Blackman that she mentioned instead of praying for Israel, we have to pray for the Middle East, the whole country of the of Middle East. Actually, I don't know what happened as I as far as I see that. Um, Hamas have took over or something have started trouble in Israel and we know that for centuries or years um, this land is always an issue of struggle of colonization of conquering and everything <coughs> and many people around the world is concerned about it but let us also not forget the situation that is happening in Russia and Ukraine as last two days ago I have a visitor who came here in the shrine who asked for healing and although she doesn't mention what is her illness or what is her problem but she just want to have a general cleansing ritual to remove negative energies or platforms in her life so that's what we did no we do healing to her and i found out na yes because there are so many uh, wars that happening there is an internal trauma in her mind and her emotions although she is already at least here in the philippines doing her stuff but releasing those fears this the trauma within them uh, will help them to be truly free and sometimes we just keep to ourselves our fear it becomes our nightmare and this nightmare would affect our mind our emotions and even our performance of our work no? performing our work so that's what I'm um, uh, I'm concerned of is to free people from those fear, from those trauma that they have. And the work of healing is a work of peace weaving, of sharing the peace that we experience in our everyday life. Although me here in the Philippines, uh, if you could see, I'm on my robe, in my personal robe in Luntian Agama, and I have my stall on it. I really wear this every day, not literally or technically I walk out with this, but what I mean wearing the stole is my priesthood, I bring it along on my everyday life. It's not only on the matter of praying for peace, but teaching how people could have peace in their life, such as this early morning. No, I have confronted a certain public official no, of doing sidewalk clearing operation but then their vehicle they left it unattended on a sidewalk and as I saw there are many children uh, walking on the middle of the road instead of they walk safely on the sidewalk so I keep reminding them of their duties and responsibilities. As a public official, no, we should not be entitled to violate the law because you are a public enforcer of the law. So as a lawmaker or, or a law enforcer, you have to apply also the law in yourself. So as for us as peace weaver, it is also important that we could apply the lessons of peace in our life and with that 
I want to pray for a following person, especially to my cousin Rosalie Bologna Command Ludo, to our beloved sister Arlene Fett, Reverend Eric Herbert, and Linda Villagonza and Laura Gonzalez. So, actually, like what I've said, no, as a peace weaver, we should apply the le the learnings or the lessons that we we are doing in our life. So I'll just remove this rosary. Actually, this is the ladder of peace. No, this is the rosary, and it has how many terminals? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, these 10 terminals in correspondence to the Holy Rosary of the Catholic Church, it is called the mystery. But for me, as a peace weaver, when I created this rosary, I think of a ladder, which is a weekend rosary. No? As a ladder, it has a steps. It has terminal in order to, from, from the bottom up to top, no? there is a, a step that we could uh, put our feet on so that we could uh, achieve the goal of having peace. So what are those terminals to the ladder of peace? No? So at first, no, on the first terminal, we are praying and meditating on love. Then after love, we meditate and pray for courage. And then after courage, we meditate on bravery. And then after bravery, we meditate on strength. Then after meditating on strength, we meditate or step on to the ladder of knowledge. And after knowledge, we pray for understanding. Then after understanding, if we gain understanding, we meditate on discipline and orderliness. And after meditating on discipline and orderliness, we are going to pray for justice. Hello, Sister Pamela Richard and Alvin Lasquete Sintin. Oh, Lakay Mabaya Agama. Thank you for watching. Then, after justice, we pray for stability. And upon we, and after we pray for stability, then we could achieve peace in our life. So, with that, before I start the ritual, I just want to pray for you, for Mary Hawk, Alvin Lasquete Sintin, to Pamela Richard, as we pray the ladder of peace. And then after praying the ladder of peace, we are going to start the ritual. So let us pray. There is one power in the universe. And we are the perfect manifestation of that power. And for as such, we pray for peace. So the first terminal of the ladder of peace is the terminal of love. So what is love? Let us meditate. Have a short meditation. Ask yourself about what is love in your life. When I meditate about love, what I found out that through love we have life. It is the love of our parents. They join together and through their love we are being created. So as we are alive right now because of the love that we have, even though there are times that problems arise. The reason why we survive is because of love. I know true love will save us from all those sufferings that we are enduring. So with that, let us hold on to love and live our life. So let us pray. I pray for peace. I pray for love. And I pray for stability. I pray that all the people around the world be blessed with peace. Peace that promotes justice. Justice that follows discipline and orderliness. Discipline and orderliness as a result of understanding and understanding as a product of knowledge and knowledge as a tool from the seat of love. O oh great a supreme divine spirit, we come before you, your children, and ask you to bless us with courage, strength, bravery, so that in the end we may enjoy the blessings.
through these blessings we may also overcome all forms of evil, fear, hatred, terror, violence, warfare, and worries around the world. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. Now, the second terminal to the ladder of peace is courage. So, what is courage for you? Why do we need to be courageous? What is it required in order to be courage? This is the energy that comes from our heart. So, it is derived from the Latin word cora, which is heart. So, being at heart, it means you have courage. Although I meditated also and asked myself, what is the difference between courage and bravery? But later on, we are going to share what is the difference with this. But at this moment, we need courage. The courage to speak up the truth that is happening to our life. Sometimes in a gathering, in gathering of people, especially in those who are asking for prayer or for a wish no? sometimes many people are silent no? they could not speak out what they want because they are shy they are not trusting no? not trusting they said to me that the universe knows already so I, they don't need to speak out but for me, in, in gathering, in start casting or in a ritual, it requires trust. You know? It requires that you speak out what you want to happen in your life. So that your fellow ritualist, your fellow believer, or fe fellow magical worker, practitioner, could focus, internalize in their mind, that they are creating in their mind, that you will receive what you are asking. But many people, are afraid they don't have courage so at this point we need courage to speak out the truth that we have to tell that we need help that we need God we need peace in our life so let us pray I pray for peace we pray for love and we pray for stability we pray that all the people around the world to embrace peace. Peace that promotes justice, justice that follows discipline and orderliness. Discipline and orderliness as a result of understanding, and understanding as a product of knowledge, and knowledge as a fruit from the seed of love. O oh, great Supreme Divine Spirit, we come before you, your children, and ask you to bless us with courage, bravery, and strength so that in the end we may be able to overcome all forms of evil, fear, hatred, terror, violence, worries, and warfare all around the world. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, May the power of love that give us life may the power of love that give us life may peace prevail us May the power of love that give us life may peace prevail us May the power of love that give us life may peace prevail us The next terminal to the ladder of peace we have done with courage and now let us talk about Bravery is not just the act of courage, although as I've said, I have mentioned that being courageous is different from being brave, because sometimes you have the courage to speak up, but you are not brave enough to do what you want, no? So it is only a blessings of God, of the divine, 
of the goddess and the god upon people to be brave enough to work and to survive that's why being brave is necessary aside from courage it is essential for us so that we could manifest or we could live on to the truth aside from speaking it out we have to literally live it out that's why we need bravery and courage to be in our life so let us pray and pray for peace we pray for love and we pray for stability we pray that all the people around the world to be blessed with peace to embrace peace peace that promotes justice justice that follows discipline and orderliness discipline and orderliness as a result of understanding and understanding as a product of knowledge and knowledge as a fruit from the seed of love O great supreme divine spirit we come before you your children and ask you to bless us with courage bravery and strength so that through these blessings we may be able to overcome all forms of evil fear hatred terror war worries warfare around the world may the power of love that give us life may peace prevail on earth may the power of love that give us life may peace prevail on earth may the power of love that give us life may peace prevail on earth may the power of love that give us life may peace prevail on earth May the power of love that give us life may peace to the sinner. May the power of love that give us life may peace to the sinner. May the power of love that give us life may peace to the sinner. The next terminal to the ladder of peace is okay. Just connected. Uh, I don't know what happened. Where do I connect? So anyway, I hope you are still li uh, hearing me out. No. So what I feel about the next terminal is the strength, no? And I remember um, Sir Reverend Patrick McCollum, who is a well-known peace weaver and was recognized by United Nations and Dr. Jane Woodall. I know at this point that he needs strength. He is courageous, he is brave to face people and speak his truth but at this moment like me no, I also need strength because I remember when I got stroke I have this determination to to pray the ladder of peace to win peace but I don't have any strength because my body is very weak so courage and bravery is nothing it is useless if we will if we do not have the strength to embody our cause so i also pray for everyone that needed right now the strength to keep going the strength to move their body the strength that will empower you in your life and good evening good morning or good afternoon to you brother rich i miss you very much so with that, I also pray for you to have the strength. I know Brother Rich is very amazing person. justice justice that follows discipline and orderliness discipline and orderliness as a result of understanding and understanding as product of knowledge and knowledge as a fruit from the seed of love O great supreme divine spirit i come before you we come before you and ask you to bless us with courage bravery and strength so that through these blessings we may be able to overcome all forms of evil, fear, hatred, terror, 
minus one earth minus one power. By the power of love that gave us life, may peace to the earth. By the power of love that gave us life, may peace to the earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. As I pray this prayer, it comes to my mind, and I remember. Lady Aisha or Lady Calypso of the Temple of Asere. So I hope you are watching because I remember you. So whatever situation that you are in right now, I hope the goddess will assist you and walk with you and turn things uh, turn things wonderful in your life. So the next ladder terminal to the ladder of peace is knowledge. You know, we might know everything. It is important to have knowledge. The knowledge of the things what we want to pray for and the knowledge of the things that we want to manifest in life. But having knowledge needs some effort of searching, of exerting our energy to ask questions what do we need in life and that is knowing ourselves and knowing the needs that we could create and through the knowledge we could use that knowledge in order to supply have that the things that we need in our life so let us pray we pray for peace we pray for love and we pray for stability we pray that all the people around the world be blessed with peace. Peace that promotes justice. Justice that follows discipline and orderliness. Discipline and orderliness as a result of understanding. Understanding as a product of knowledge. Knowledge as a product of knowledge. Oh, great, so many ways. We come before you, your children, and ask you to bless us with courage, bravery, and strength. So that through these blessings, we may be able to overcome all forms of evil, fear, hatred, terror, violence, warfare, and violence around the world. May the blessings of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. May the blessings of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. May the blessings of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. May the power of love that give us life, by the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. The next ladder or terminal to the ladder of peace is understanding. You know, there is a big difference of knowledge and understanding, such as if we know how to speak Japanese, no? or we know how to speak Tagalog, but you don't understand what that word means to us. So it means having understanding has a, a deeper meaning than knowledge. It means you could embody the knowledge that you want. It means you are bringing into life what you have known. So understanding is just like you stand under from that word and you being the manifested vessel of that word such as peace. You know? Such as I remember the discussion with Sir Patrick, Reverend Patrick McCollum. Each people have their own different meaning of the word peace. And each one of us embody our understanding of peace. But as a weekend, as a peaceful, the peace that we want is something that will bring us joy in our life. 
something of this that will create life in ourselves. A true life that is not limited. Limited in terms of, of fear, of hatred, of angry, and everything that is negative. So having a true understanding of life situation might help us to be free from the limitations that the world is have doing right now. And good evening, good afternoon, or good evening to you, Amanda Watson. Thank you for watching. So with that, let us pray for understanding. There is one power in the universe, and we are the perfect manifestation of our And for us, we pray for peace. We pray for peace, we pray for love, and we pray for stability. We pray that all the people around the world embrace peace. Peace that promotes justice. Justice that follows discipline and orderliness. Discipline and orderliness as a result of understanding and understanding as a product of knowledge and knowledge as a fruit from the seed of love. O oh, great supreme divine spirit, we come before you and ask you to bless us, your children, with courage, bravery, and strength, so that through these blessings we may be able to overcome all forms of evil, fear, hatred, terror, violence, warfare, and worries around the world. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail on earth. The next terminal to the ladder of peace is discipline and orderliness. What? How do you define discipline in your own life? Discipline is orderliness, is putting things in order, such as in counting, we start from zero, probably we start from zero, from nothing, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on and so forth. In our timing, we start in the morning and we end up in the evening. We follow the movement of the sun from east going to west. And in life, we begin when a child, in childhood, we start as a child and we end up as a grandparent and elderly. Now, this is the natural order that has set to us by the universe. And we could not jump into success, into being high person without st starting at the beginning point of our life. So this is the discipline that the universe is teaching us. And I hope that this discipline is also being applied in our community so that through this discipline, through this orderliness, we may enjoy peace in our life. So let us pray. We pray for peace, we pray for love, and we pray for stability. We pray that all the people around the world embrace peace. Peace that promotes justice. Justice that follows discipline and orderliness. And discipline and orderliness as a result of understanding and understanding as a product of knowledge and knowledge as a fruit from the seed of love. O great supreme divine spirit, we come before you and ask you to bless us with courage, 
bravery and strength. So that through these blessings we may be able to overcome all forms of evil, fear, hatred, terror, violence, warfare, and worries around the world. May the power of love that gives us life may peace reverse and earth. By the power of love that gives us life may peace reverse and earth. By the power of love that gives us life may peace reverse and earth. By the power of love that gives us life may peace reverse and earth. By the power of love that gives us life may peace reverse and earth. By the power of love that gives us life may peace reverse and earth. By the power of love that gives us life may peace reverse and earth. May the power of love that give us life may peace the prisoner. May the power of love that give us life may peace the prisoner. The next terminal to the ladder of peace is justice. Like what we have mentioned a while ago, we have prayed for discipline and orderliness. Justice is the one that gives us a standard. It is just a ruler, a straight line of weighing what is right and what is wrong. Many of us have suffered injustices, but many of us also have practiced to become a judge. We, ourselves, the divinity, the universe, our divine parents have set upon us in our mind to know and to determine what is right and what is wrong. We become a judge of this world and we do in everyday activity of our life. We are applying judgment to our own decision which color of dress we should wear. How long should I spend time in watching this video or how long should I spend in devoting myself in prayer in doing spell or whatever activities that we do. It is through our own judge, judgment we experience life and through that experience we learn. Our experience might be beneficial or good and if we experience something bad we, we learn from it and we might know on the next time we will not do it again. Justice is our job to be fair, to follow discipline, because true peace will not be peace if it, it does not follow justice. So let us pray. I pray for peace, we pray for love, and we pray for stability. We pray that all the people around the world embrace peace, peace that promotes justice, justice that follows discipline and orderliness. Discipline and orderliness as a result of understanding and understanding as a product of knowledge and knowledge as a fruit from the seed of love. O great Supreme Divine Spirit, I ask you, we ask you to bless us, your children, with courage, bravery, and strength, so that through these blessings we may be able to overcome all forms of evil, fear, hatred, terror, violence, warfare, and worries around the world. May the power of love that give us life may peace prevails on earth. May the power of love that give us life may peace prevails on earth. May the power of love that give us life may peace prevails on earth. May the power of love that give us life may peace prevails on earth. May the power of love that give us life may peace prevails on earth. May the power of love that give us life may peace prevails on earth. May the power of love that give us life May peace prevails on The next terminal to the ladder of peace is stability. And we still have one more, which is peace at all. No? So stability is being unmovable. Whether there is war, you are still at peace. How could it be? Is it the peace that we wanted to happen on earth? No? Is the absence of war? the absence of argument? No, because peace, as I've learned, is a state of mind. We could still live our life even there is war, such as the training that we have here, because this place, 
when it's daytime, it's very noisy. I ask my students to focus, to focus on what makes you happy and what makes you to learn. It doesn't matter if there is noisy, because in times of war, there are bombing, there are gunshots. You could not tell, stop, I'm going to have a report. Stop, I'm going to pray. I need silence. The reason why we are going to pray is because we want to influence our, uh, to, to radiate our energy towards all the people to have peace, to calm down, to feel love, and not to stop fighting. No? Because people, when they are angry, they need to release, you know, and even those persons that are warring or having war or battle, they are just following command from whoever orders them to do so. And I know both people, the soldiers of Israeli in the south or the Aram or I forget the name of the terrorist group, they are just being commanded, influence. They are being bonded with this kind of doctrine. And for us, being stable enough on our ground of living for peace, no, living peace, will help them to liberate those souls from the bondage of slavery, of hatred towards the people. So I call upon all the higher selves of peace weavers around the world wherever you are the living and those who have ascended into the higher levels to help us now to to make all the living peace weavers be stable in their faith in their ground of praying for peace so with that let us pray we pray for peace we pray for love and we pray for stability. We pray that all the people around the world be blessed with peace. Peace that promotes justice. Justice that follows discipline and orderliness. Discipline and orderliness as a result of understanding and understanding as a fruit from the seed. As a fruit of understanding as a product of knowledge and knowledge as a product of peace. O oh, great Supreme Divine Spirit, we come before you dear children ask you to bless us with courage, bravery, and strength, so that through these blessings we may be able to overcome all forms of evil, fear, hatred, terror, violence, warfare, and all the of the world. May the power of love that give us life may peace prevail on earth. May the power of love that give us life may peace prevail on earth. May the power of love that give us life may peace prevail on earth. May the power of love give us life, may peace prevail us May the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail us May the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail us May the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail us May the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail us May the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail us And the last terminal to the ladder of peace is peace itself. Peace has a five letter uh, yes, five is a five letter word. No? And through that five letter word it might encompass the five elements of nature. The earth, air, fire, water, and the spirit. Thus having prayer for peace or praying for peace will make our life complete as i remember the teaching of the goddess there will be no prosperity if there is no peace why if war is happening it's not only the people are being destroyed but also the economy the land the plants and the animal is also being affected so our actions does matter in creating peace to the world. So what kind of action will you do in your life? Because our action will radiate 
it will create a ripple effect, a domino effect. If we do good, everything will come out good. If we do bad, everything will come out bad. So, as a peace winner, if we are being reminded to be mindful of our actions, to be mindful of the words that we say, be mindful of what we post on social media. That's why every night and every day, as much as possible, let us bring out what kind of peace that we want to have in this world. So with that, let us pray. We pray for peace, we pray for love, and we pray for stability. We pray that all the people around the world be blessed with peace. Peace that promotes justice. Justice that follows discipline and orderliness. Discipline and orderliness as a result of understanding and understanding as a fruit from this, uh, as a product of knowledge, and knowledge as a fruit from the seed of love. O great Supreme Divine Spirit, we come before you and ask you to bless us, your children, with courage, courage, bravery, and strength, so that through these blessings we may be able to overcome all forms of evil, fear, hatred, terror, violence, war, by the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail in earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail in earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail in earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail in earth. By the power of love that give us life, may peace prevail in earth. May all the people around the world be blessed with peace. May all the inhabitants Mother Earth enjoy the blessings of the world. As we manifest this in our life by our unified will and in full gratitude to the divine with aiming no harm to anyone, we accept and receive this and it is so, so more be. So now we are going to proceed with our ritual. So before we start, I just want to explain what is peace wave explosion. So peace wave explosion is an activity event of all peace weavers, peace warriors, light workers, and ministers around the world, whether you are a Corellian, Wicca, or not. Wicca, pagan, Christian, Muslim, or whatever religious spiritual traditions you belong as long as you have a desire for global peace. Our act activity event is a response to call for spiritual warfare to peace initiated by the Korean tradition through the Order of Peace Weavers and International Peace Warrior Group. There are so much negative, especially right now, running around the world. And these negativities are not just spreading fear to the lives of people, but worse than fear, which is terror. The concept of peace wave explosion is like terrorizing the terrorist. No? Terrorizing the terrorist. We terrorize them not with hate, but with irresistible love that will make them drop down their weapons of terror and immerse themselves and surrender to the power of love. The power of love will make their knees trembling and body shaking if they don't surrender and put down their hatred over the power of love. The goal of this event activity is to take action by resisting terror with the power of love. So we will engage now into full spiritual warfare, so be better prepared. In this activity, we don't give place to self-doubt. So in order to engage in this global activity of spiritual warfare to peace, you must thoroughly do your shadow workings. If you do not know how to do shadow work, please ask assistance to any Corellian priest and priestess in your local community. To know where the Corellian priest or priestess is, you can locate them at www.com. Corellian.com and good evening, good afternoon, Sister Chela, uh, Kiana Ellis. So, 
If you are a Corellian priest or priestess joining in this activity, I encourage you to help our peace warriors by conducting a thorough shadow working by posting it. So I know that we have an order of shadow works. So kindly refer that to the Corellian.com to find its link. No? So as a peace warrior, we cannot engage in the spiritual warfare with hatred in our heart or else we will be consumed by our hatred and become a terrorist ourselves. A peace warrior armor is love and nothing else and nothing more and nothing less. A peace warrior must fully know ourselves because the enemy will attack us with false information about ourselves which is all lies. No one knows you best but only yourself. Don't be silly swayed by words of others. You must know ourselves about all. If you believe that you are fit to jerk or peace with explosion, you must shower yourself every day, all the time with love, no matter what happens. Let the power of love rule our life. I pray that everyone will be fit to join me at this moment for a peace with explosion. So now, when a person stands in the light, what will you see? You will see that your shadow will appear. It is a dark that shades like a person who is standing in the light. All existing sin inhabitants of this planet where its light is being radiated has shadow. Shadow are not bad nor good. Every one of us has shadow. It is dark aspect of us. Remember that we have our lower and higher selves. Our shadows are the limiting forces within us. Limiting forces, as I say, is not good nor bad like our shadow. This is the reason why we need to know our personal shadows. One example of shadow are our self-doubt. The one who limit us in doing something. The one who make us not step forward and want us to remain as is so that we may be enveloped in darkness or to our lower vibration of being pessimist. I could not do that. Don't go. You are not able and has no ability. Remember, you've been scolded in the past when you do such thing. Don't go. Just stay here and be with me. Do not forgive that person because that person is too bad to you. There are some of the words our shadow will cast. But do not see our shadow as bad. Look at it and learn something from our shadow. If our shadow tell us that we cannot do that, ask ourselves why not. Is there something bad will happen if I do this? What about the past in the self? If you try, do it. <coughs> acknowledge what your shadow is telling you and also acknowledge what the light is showing you. You are a man or woman that has intellect. Use your decision-making ability and, the rest, and be responsible in doing so. Do not depend your actions to the thought form of others or even situation. Live your life in accordance to the purpose that you have made. You are made out of love from the reunion of your father and mother. All living creatures are created through the power of love. So our existence here in this planet must be fueled with love. Hey has no place in this world created by love. So now, let us immerse ourselves to the energies of love. I will ask everyone now to fill yourself with much divine love. I ask you to remember yourself as a creature. Remember yourself being a child of love. Remember yourselves growing in the protection of love and know now that you can give much of your love. You have so much love in your past lives and you have so much love in this present lifetime and you will always be filled with so much love in the future time in your life. Love is overflowing within you now. It flows abundantly to your being. 
and it flows abundantly to your family and it flows abundantly to your community. Love within you is flooding around your area. The flood of love that comes from your being becomes a river and from the river of love it flows to the sea and reaching the depths of the ocean. Love fills your being and your being is love and your love overflows and saturates the whole world and the world where we live now becomes saturated with love and becomes love itself. The world of love blesses everyone. Our world of love, which is Gaia, our Mother Earth, blesses us with her love. And with her love, we have joy. And with her joy, we have peace. And with her peace, we have hope. And with our hope, we obtain good health. And with good health, abundance. And with abundance comes prosperity. Now, with so much love, seal all the blessings we have by the love of your faith. And with our faith, we take action. And our action testify that we are alive. Live now our life in love. We make peace to everyone in your world, in your community, in your country. So now, let us invoke the power. I ask everyone now to prepare yourself by equipping and gearing up by attuning to the great power that can be found within yourself. I ask you now to remember yourself to the power of earth. I ask you now to remember yourself to the power of air. To the power of water. I ask you now to remember yourself to the power of the spirit. Awaken now your true self and embrace the true power of earth that is within you. You are earth. You are your body. You are your bones. You are your organs. You are the shape. You are the figure. You are the size, you are the weight, you are the height, you are the structure, you are the foundation, you are growth. You are the fertility, you are the security, you are the abundance, you are prosperity. You are now the power of earth. You are one with earth and you are the earth. You are air, you are breathing, you are respiration, you are inspiration, you are expiration, you are the oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, hydrogen, and all other gaseous elements in the atmosphere. You are the intellect, you are the mind, you are the psyche of imagination, intuition, and word of power. You are the voice, you are the reason, you are now the power of air. You are one with the air, and you are the air. Awaken now your true self and embrace the power of fire that is within you. You are a fire. You are the temperature. You are the complexion. You are the light. You are the colors. You are red. You are orange. You are yellow. You are green. You are blue. You are indigo, and you are violet. You are the rainbow. You are the pigment. You are the shape, you are black, you are white, you are the vision, you are the action, you are the will, you are the passion, you are the strength, you are the protection, you are now the power of fire, and you are the fire. Awaken now to your true self and embrace the power of water that is within you. You are the water, you are the blood, you are the sweat, you are the hormones, you are the light. You are the rain, you are the storm, you are the spring, you are the river, you are the sea, you are the ocean, you are cleansing, you are purification, you are refreshing, you are solution, you are now the power of water, and you are water. Awaken now to your true self and embrace the power of spirit that is within you. You are the spirit, you are consciousness, you are awareness, you are the orientation, you are the knowledge. You are the wisdom, you are the limitless, you are the eternal, you are the almighty, 
You are the power of the Spirit, and you are the Spirit. Now, gear up yourself with these powers you always have in your life, and there are more powers that is in store with you. So now, it's the Friday the 13th. This day, we are going to utilize the power of the Friday the 13th to perform the best day But, be reminded that the purpose of this ritual is to create and to recreate peace, starting to ourselves. To our family, to our neighbors, to our community, to our country, to our continent, to our planet, and to the universe. In order to benefit from this peace wave explosion ritual in a group setting, so it is advised that you have to read notes before doing this ritual. So it is advised to have a ritual bag and wear a comfortable clothing. So right now, let us take a deep Take a deep breath, slowly letting in the fresh air to our nose, and exhale to our mouth. As you breathe in, fill your lungs with fresh air, chest out, and the stomach in. And as you breathe out, relax your stomach. Do this thoroughly through the entire ritual, feeling each breath with breath you take smelling the aroma of the atmosphere in your present environment, noticing every aspect as you do the breathing exercise. So now, let us take a deep breath, inhale, and then exhale. Inhale, and exhale. I stand today in here and now, cutting away the boundaries of time and space, which illusion are now outpaced. Circle of power, now I trust. I raise the vibration of love and peace, now do I cast. to the power of the east, the power of air, of the mind, and of our intellect, and of knowledge. We call upon you to awaken the power that is within us, and reunite once more with us as we perform this rite of peace with explosion, and perfect trust, and perfect love, we bid you aim. upon you, awaken the power that is within us, and reunite once more with us, as we perform this rite of peace with explosion, in perfect trust, and in perfect love, we bid you hail and welcome. Hail to the power of the west, the power of water, stream, rivers, and seas, and oceans. The power of the rain and storm that cleanse and purify, the power in which determination comes. We call upon you to awaken the power that is within us and reunite once more with us as we perform this rite of peace rite explosion in perfect trust and perfect love. We bid you hail and welcome. Power of the North, the power of Earth, of foundation, structure, and growth, the power of silence and of beauty of nature. We call upon you to awaken the power that is within us and reunite once more with us as we perform this rite of peace with explosion in perfect trust and in perfect trust. In perfect trust and perfect love, we bid you hail and welcome.
Hail to the Lord and Lady of the Underworld, the realms of stone, minerals, and crystals, the storehouse of power, the mitochondria within ourselves and of this world, the sacred ground on which our holy ancestors tilled and with their ashes enriched the land and made fertile. We call upon you to awaken the power that is within us and reunite once more with us as we perform this rite of peace with explosion and perfect trust and perfect love. We bid you hail and welcome. Hail to the Lady and Lord of the Sky World, and to the Celestial Host, the power of light that shines throughout the darkness, and the power that manifests the beauty of this world to the sun, moon, and stars, and all planets seen and unseen with the naked eyes. We call upon you to awaken the power that is within us and reunite us once more with us as we perform this peace wave explosion in perfect love and in perfect trust. We bid you hail and welcome. Hail to the ancestors within me, whose blood runs into my vein. The holy ancestor who once walked this plane of existence, who worked and dreamed of this land to have a global peace, the ancestors of my bloodline that connects to the Creator so that we may obtain the divine lineage of power. We call upon you to awaken the power that is within us and reunite once more with us as we perform this rite of peace wave explosion and perfect love and in perfect trust. We bid you hail and welcome. Hail to the aspect of the Divine Masculine, the power of the lover, hero, king, and sorcerer. The power of manifestation and action We call upon you to awaken the power that is within us and reunite once more with us as we perform this type of peace wave explosion. In perfect trust and perfect love, we bid you hail and welcome. Hail to the Goddess in which the aspect of maiden, mother, and throne, the power of inspiration, conception, and creation. We call upon you to awaken the power that is within us and reunite once more with us as we perform this rite of peace with explosion and perfect trust and perfect love. We bid you hail and welcome. So today is the Friday the 13th on which we attune to the greatest power of all. On this day, we will cast our power to perform the greatest ritual of all time, and that is the Peace Wave Explosion. Today is the time where we will stand and take action in making peace possible in the earth. Today is the perfect time we will spend our powers to a worthwhile cause which is world peace. Today, our enemies are now trembling trembling in fear as they resist the power of love in overpowering them. Today, people around the world will experience peace by our love. In love, there is no fear. In love, there is no hate. In love, there is no suffering. In love, there is peace. Now, my brothers and sisters, I ask you to use your personal powers in this activity. Spreading peace around the world. I ask you to use your magic carpet or broom to fly around the world and spread peace by beaming the radiance of love towards mankind and of all beings. If you have no broom, nor carpet, nor cape, then fly, then shape shift with me and blow wings to fly around the world. So let us go and let's do shape shifting. To start shape shifting, you need to continue to breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Now, think of a flying being 
that has wings. So what kind of being are you that is having wings? Would you like to be a bird, a butterfly, or a dragon? Or probably you want to become an angel to have a wings. So just continue breathing. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So just keep in mind of what kind of creatures you want to become as you shape shift. And in order to shape shift as you inhale and as you exhale, you have to mention the name of your deity, such as or me. As you exhale, imagine that you are seeing your mind's eye as you breathe in, the image in your mind becomes you. And as you breathe out, imitate the voice of the creature you are shape shifting at. Continue to breathe in and breathe out until you, in your mind, you feel yourself being transformed into the being you are shape shifting at. Then, when you already fully transformed, Continue breathing, but this time as you breathe in, imagine that you are breathing in love. And as you breathe out, you are breathing peace. So again, breathe in, breathe in love, and exhale, breathe in peace. Inhale again, breathe in love, and breathe out. Peace. Inhale, love, exhale, peace. Now, walk around your house first and saturate every. So now you have been transformed into a being that you want to shape shift. So, example, you are an angel, and when you are an angel, you breathe in love and then breathe out peace walk around first in the corner of your room so saturate your all place the four corners of your room with love and peace breathe in love exhale peace face every corner of your room and when you do that and when you accomplish imagine you are walking out just in imagination no? so imagine you go out and go on different places in your house and breathe in peace breathe in love and breathe out peace so when walk around your house first and saturate every corner of your house with the energy of love and peace then saturate your family members with energy of love and peace by breathing them on them, breathing on them. So you can imagine that as you walk out, imagine a person, a loved one, that you are embracing them. And as you embrace them, as you breathe in, you breathe in the love and you breathe out peace on them. So then saturate your family members with the energy of love and peace by breathing on them. Then your friends and then your neighbors, your workmates, classmates, and all the people you know in your community. The store, shopkeeper, and the staff where you always buy food, at the supermarket, grocery, grocery station, etc. They will feel your presence as if a warm wind blow in their face. If you are if you yourself feels a warm wind blowing in your face, then that peace will explode on you. 
So at this point, you know, let your breathing. You could imagine a certain people, that person that you want to help with. You know? So example, I have this in my prayer list. We could breathe out peace to Losali, to Arlene, to Reverend Eric, to Linda, and Laura Gonzalez, and even to you, Amanda, Jenna, Pamela, and to Rich Danue. So blow. So they will feel your presence as if a warm wind blows in your face. If you yourself feel the warm wind, blowing into your face, then the peace wave exploded on you. Peace wave explosion brings much blessings to all. It gives the individual or community so much love, joy, hope, abundance, prosperity, good health, and long life. So blow the breath of love and peace to many persons that you can in your community. But those who resist the power of love and peace will experience trembling of knees shaking of body, chest, pain, difficulty in breathing and headache. So before you breathe on someone, do see in your mind their higher self and ask permission to allow them to allow you to breathe them with love and peace. You can use your swing, wings, broom or carpet to fly so that you could breathe love and peace to many persons as you can. But our main mission is to fly to the areas in the country that has ter terrorists, we are going to fly over their camp and blow peace wave over them. So now, at this time, at this point of time, which part of the world you want to bless? You might think right now that you are going to Israel, to the place where there is war. Visualize in your mind that you are flying or even as you breathe since uh, the, the air that we breathe is one air it could travel around the world you breathe in love and you blow out peace send that energy of peace to the area that is needed right now send peace to all the people who are victim of warfare those who are bleeding right now to the children in the hospital breathe in love breathe out peace breathe in love breathe out peace to the elderly who is suffering right now from the bloodshed that is happening in the world. As I can see right now, there are children who are crying, who are confused, heavily traumatized because of the war that is happening. We send our love and healing to everyone that is affected by war, whether they are Jew or Muslim or Christian, in that area of Israel. We send forth our love and peace to the whole area of Israel. To the whole world, we also extend our love and peace to the area in Ukraine, in Russia, in Europe, in Germany, in France, in Italy, in London. We also extend our love and peace to Africa. India, 
to the Philippines, to Australia, to New Zealand, to Canada, and to America, and South America. Every people deserve to be loved. Every people deserve to enjoy peace. And there are so much people that are depressed right now, disappointed, frustrated. All those negative feelings, their mental health, their emotional health is not okay. So I pray for you. We pray that you will feel love, that you will take back control over your life. Be back to your body. We call upon your higher self to unite back with your body that you may think well and create well a peaceful life. So with this, we thank the universe. Remember, remember all the powers we call are within you now. The powers of the earth, air, fire, water the underworld, the sky world, the celestial realms, the ancestors, and the divinity. All of these powers are with you and supporting you in making this peace great explosion. Nothing harm will happen, only love and peace. All who are sick will be healed. All who are suffering will be healed. All who are in need will be supplied. All who are lost will be found and all other beneficial blessings will overflow into your life. Even your personal wishes will be fulfilled. Trust in the power that you have. Make it grow until you love it. Grow more love to the powers that you have and gain faith. Knowledge, understanding, trust, love, and faith. These five are the most important blessings you receive now. And with this, all continue to learn, understand, trust, love, and be faithful. The more you turn the cycle and perform the ritual of peaceful explosion, the more your power will grow. <clears throat> so if you feel now that you have covered the whole world and the universe with the wave of peace, Fly back to your home and transform yourself of being you again. Breathe in and out, thinking of your human form. As you become you again, rest for a while to ground yourself and enjoy the bliss of what you have did to the universe by doing the peace wave explosion. Tell yourself that you will do this ritual again and again until the whole universe is at peace. And when you are done, thanks the divinity which supports you now. Breathe out and breathe in and breathe out. Place your palms in front of your chest in a prayer position and say to the goddess whose manifestation are the maiden, mother and God, whose power and inspiration are subject to creation. We thank you now for joining me for joining us in this ritual of peace wave explosion. You may stay as you will and go if you must in perfect love and in perfect peace. We bid you hail and welcome and hail and farewell. To the God whose aspect are the lover, hero, king and sorcerer, which power are manifestation and action. We thank you now for joining us in this ritual of peace wave explosion. You may stay as you will and go if you must. In perfect love and perfect peace, we bid you hail and farewell. To the holy ancestor who walked before us, in which blood runs to our veins, the bloodline in which we inherit our divine lineage, we thank you now for joining us in this ritual of this wave explosion. You may stay as you will and go if you must. In perfect love and perfect peace, we bid you hail and farewell. To the Lord and Lady of the Sky World and the Celestial Realms, to the beings of light that are the sun, moon, stars, and all planets, seen and unseen with the naked eyes, 
We thank you now for joining us in this ripple of peaceful exposure. You may stay as you will and go if you must. In perfect love and in perfect peace, we bid you hail and farewell. To the Lord and Lady of the Underworld, to the realms of the stone, rock, minerals, and crystals, to the mitochondrion of power, we thank you now for joining us in this ripple of peace with explosion. You may stay as you will and go if you must in perfect love and perfect peace. We bid you hail and farewell. To the power of the North, which is the earth, foundation, structure, and growth, we thank you now for joining us in this ritual of peace and explosion. You may stay as you will and go if you must in perfect love and perfect peace. We bid you hail and farewell. To the power of the West, which is the water, stream, rivers, and seas, and ocean, to the rain and storm that cleanse and purify, we thank you now for joining us in this report of this wave explosion. We may stay as you will and go if you must in perfect love and perfect peace. We bid you hail and farewell. To the power of the South, which is fire, will, and action, we thank you now for joining me in this ritual of peace wave explosion. You may stay as you will and go with you must in perfect love and in perfect peace. We bid you hail and farewell. To the power of the East, which is air, mind, intellect, and knowledge, we thank you now for joining us in this ritual of peace wave explosion. You may stay as you will and go with you must in perfect love and perfect peace. We bid you hail and farewell. Now, as we end this ritual, let your bidding brother be normal now as it was before. See the circle of power that you are casting, the reality that you have lifted, but maintaining the energy of love and peace. The circle is now lit, and the energy of love and peace remain. Go, if you must, stay as you will, in perfect love and in perfect trust. We now marry part until we marry me again. Thank you very much for joining me in doing this peace wave explosion ritual. I hope everything goes well with you. And remember, always pray for peace. Praying for peace will grant you prosperity. Will grant you all the desires that you have. Because peace will bring abundance in your life. Pray for peace at the day. So until then, maraming salamat. Mayarina. Pagkasatin. Maalang.